welcome to my stream um it's sunday it's like nearly three o'clock i've been out um pretty much for um i've been out for well, all morning i left the house at, at around 5 a.m this morning and i went to three boot fairs and all three boot fairs are quite far away from me but they're kind of close to each other so that's pretty cool um and it was one of those days today where I ended up being pretty happy with what I've managed to pick up. But when I get back home and I look at it, it's a lot of um, it's actually like a lot of work for, um, for the items that I've picked up. I did actually have to put in a lot of work. Um, it, it, it's not always the case that you go to a boot fair and everything is available to you. Um, it's not it's not always that easy. So. Um, that's something just to bear in mind uh, when you're outsourcing and looking for stock. Not every time that you go to a boot fair, no matter how early you are, um, whether you're queuing up uh, along with the other early birds, it's not a guarantee that you're going to actually find something um, fantastic. And um, today was one of those days really where I, you know, like I said, went to three different boot fairs. I've only just gotten back home not too long ago. I'm absolutely shattered um, but I didn't do a whole video last time because I was tired and I never ended up doing it and the stock's already been listed and split up and I can't be bothered and that was a really good haul of stuff. Um, but I picked up some pretty good things but I had to go through a fair bit of effort um, to to get hold of to get hold of these things. So that's what I'm going to say. Um, hi to the five people that are watching um, which is great. I don't know who the five people are because no one's in the chat as far as I know um, but still thank you very much for for watching guys um, so I hope it all sounds okay and I hope the, the sync isn't out the, 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 I hope the audio is syncing with the video okay um, I, and I hope you guys enjoy watching the live all video um, so hey Max Gaming how are you I hope it's going okay for you um, really like i said i'm really shattered um i've i've split what i got in the the, the boot fair so um the first boot fair i went to was at, started at 6 30 in the morning paid extra to get in um queued up and i ended up coming away with two items now it was one of those things where i think the weather forecast for yesterday put a lot of the sellers off from actually turning up so buyers turned up as usual. Buyers always turn up. You you know we guys are junkies for boot sales. So buyers were there en masse as usual. Um, but in terms of sellers, there was there were n barely any compared to what you'd expect on a beautiful day like today turned out to be. There were when I first um, went in at like half six, there was only one row of of um, there was only one row basically of. of um, people selling stuff so you're just you're going in there with all the other guys and you've just got one aisle to walk up and down whilst you know other cars are arriving now the problem is because there were so many buyers um when the sellers were turning up they were getting swamped and unless you were able to get into get in first get into the boots or however you do it you weren't going to be walking away with anything and i did actually see some pretty amazing things um get that i got beaten to the punch um by other guys hi elion how are you uh, nice to see you in the chat um there's eight of you watching this which i'm really happy about i'm pretty impressed um this is quite an impromptu stream um so thank you for popping in um and like i said there was there was you know, unless you were one of those people that gets in at the boot and 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 it, and is sharp elbowed, it was going to be difficult for you to to get hold of stuff. Um, and I struggled at this boot fair, and I saw some really awesome stuff. I did see a guy picking up an awesome a uh, few boxes of vintage Lego, like he had like uh, Indiana Jones and things. I mean, I knew that other people were gutted. I personally wasn't because the thought of going through that lego literally makes me cringe so i was okay with that um however i did lose out to a lady who who had just gotten there maybe a few seconds before me 
and as the seller was bringing the games out from the boot, they went straight to her hand, and there was a stack of GameCube games, you know, Luigi's Mansion, Mario Kart, I'm not sure what else there was, um, and um, I think they went for um, like 50p or a pound each, so that lady got some really good stuff, and uh, and, you know, so I saw that happening. Um, and something quite peculiar happened as well. There was a guy who had um, a, play a couple of PlayStations and he was selling Crash Bandicoot, the big box edition, like the, the chunky case. And he wanted eight pounds because he was well aware of what it was worth. And I don't know what it was, but I just couldn't pay him eight pounds, even though I looked and it, it, it's quite profitable. You can sell it for maybe 20 to 30 pounds. Um, but the thought of paying someone eight pounds for a game at car boot, it didn't sit well with me because eight pounds at a car boot is still a lot of money. You could potentially get eight really good items rather than buying one item for eight pounds. And unless you're going there with, you know, like a thousand pounds or something, which I'm not, um, you know, I'm going with like, you know, a, a lot less than that. And I didn't particularly like the idea. And plus it just didn't sit right with me to pay eight pounds for, for a Crash Bandicoot game. And in a way, it, the, the, the cool thing about this story is, I've already been talking for five minutes, is the cool thing about this story is, even though I didn't get that, I did spend some money at this first boot sale, um, but only a little bit. I literally, I think I spent in total, um, how much did I spend? Oh, yeah. I, I, I think I spent, well, really not a lot of money. Then I spent seven pounds, so I could have spent eight pounds on getting Crash Bandicoot, but I spent seven, and I actually got two items, which are probably going to be worth a lot more. Um, so I'll show you what I got for the first boot fair. So like I said, I only got two things from the first boot fair, um, but they're quite good. The first is a box Panasonic CD player, which is made in Japan. Um, it's got its original uh, mains cable which is really nice and the mains cable doesn't seem to have been used at all so that's really cool and the player itself is in good condition I mean it's not in perfect condition it probably needs a clean up um, but this is a made in Japan Panasonic uh, mp3 CD player um, and with the box and everything I think I'll do okay with it I mean it's got the it's got all the instructions it's got the uh, you know packaging is all there so that was the first thing I picked up and I only paid uh, two pounds for that which I was really pleased with because especially after you know uh, not getting the Crash Bandicoot game um, for eight pounds which someone else did buy eventually so they're going to make some money out of it even at eight pounds um, but I got that for two and I was much happy with that I should be able to get around the 30 pound mark for that so I'd be pretty happy with that and plus obviously I'll charge shipping I might even be able to get more now this is the this is the second item that I picked up. This is from the same person. So literally, I got two things at this boot fair, and then I decided to leave because I could see the way it was progressing. It wasn't as big as it normally was, and everyone that was turning up was getting mobbed, literally mobbed. And I, I don't like to do that personally. But anyway, this is the second thing I picked up, which is really cool. It's still got its original packaging. It's not new, but it's a mini disc deck, MDS SP55. Now. It's not as great as I thought it would be. It does come with all its manuals and it is in mint condition. It's it, it's a really nice mini disc deck. Um, I will show it to you. Um, it's not as good as I thought because this requires like a proprietary cable to hook up. Let me just show you guys. Yeah, it's in really good condition. You can see a beautiful little mini disc deck there. Um, but like I said, it's, there's a bit of an issue because it normally requires, and I'm not sure if it works without it, a system control cable because you can see there's no power. So yeah, it does need a system control cable um, to connect it to the matching hi-fi. So it's going to be quite a long tail item, uh, but I paid five pounds for that. Um, complete with the ribbon. I've seen this sell for 35 plus shipping. Obviously, I haven't got the ribbon. Um, but then again, these things don't come up very often and they're probably not in demand that often, but I'm sure someone will will need it. So I'll move that out of the way. And so that's literally all I got for the first boot fair. So not feeling amazing at this point. Yeah, I suppose you could say yeah, I wasn't feeling like great at, at this point, <laughs> just having picked up two items. Um, but 
went on to the second boot fair and I did a lot better um, at the second boot fair. In fact, I'd say the second boot fair is probably overall the 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 winner for me. Um, so I'm going to just quickly show you some of the items that I picked up at the second boot fair, which are quite cool. Now, the first thing I went on, um, here you go, here's the joysticks. If you can't tell already, I got the Atari video computer system, Atari VCS, and it's the woody version because obviously it's got like the wood finish there. And it's got these old school flip switches. Ooh, that's like a reset switch, but it's got an old school flip switch. It comes with, like I said, it just came with the joysticks and the power supply. I got the power supply, which is very important um, because it's kind of like a weird power supply. So over here, it's got like a jack on the end of it. So it, the guy assured me it works. He didn't unfortunately have any cartridges with it. Um, and I paid £12.50, which isn't actually an amazing price. I have seen... Um, I've seen those consoles sell like untested without anything for about £12.50 at auction, so it's not good. However, they do go for a lot more like around the £50-£60 mark when they're sold like with games and, and, and like things like that. Or if, if you can at least prove that it's working, I'm sure I can get more than £12.50 for it though. I mean, it's a real vintage console, so that was the first thing I picked up, so I was pretty happy with that. <clears throat> Moving on. Not a GameCube, but a GameCube power supply. Um, I paid up on this. I paid two pounds for this. A uh, guy I originally wanted four, um, but I, th you know, I wasn't like I said, it wasn't amazing pickings. So it was, it was a GameCube item. And I thought I, you know, what the hell? Uh, these normally go for about fifteen. So really not anything spectacular uh, profit-wise there. <clears throat> what else did I get? I picked up these two cases, a Nintendo case and a Game Boy Advance case. I had to pay £3 for these, um, so again, not the cheapest. Normally you can get them for 50p to a pound each, but I paid £3, so one fifty a pop. But these should get me decent return, um, so you, you're probably getting around 10 to £12 um, for that case. Um, I got Quake 2, I only paid 30p for that, so that's pretty good. It doesn't go for a massive amount of money, probably about seven, eight pounds, something along those lines, and the case is cracked. Um, but it does have its manual, um, which is cool, discs all fine as well. It's just a shame that it's got a damaged case. Um, but for 30p, it, you know, that's a pretty good find. Can't complain with that. Now, this is a nice little find as well. I've got a bundle of sealed um, DVDs, like l little micro DVDs. So I've got all different flavors. I've got plus RW, minus R. Unfortunately, I mean, this is brand new sealed, um, but it's got this really stubborn sticker on, on the top there, which won't come off very easily. So I'm gonna have to get um, something strong to remove that sticker because that, it looks pretty horrible um, and you can't really scratch that off. But yeah, that's really cool. I've got all of these for two pounds, which is really good. I've had a quick look and you can get, you can sell sets of four of them for about, um, for about the 10 pound mark. Um, so I'm pretty pleased with that. Um, so for two quid, pretty happy. <clears throat> a little micro Sony FM radio. I think I paid 50 pence for that. Um, Nothing spectacular, probably will sell for between 10 and 12 pounds, but it'll be a nice simple sale. Um, it goes large letter as well because it's so slim, little radio. CD player, about 15 to 20 pound sale, this should be paid a pound for that. Really good condition actually, really good condition. Battery compartment inside was all clean as well, so um, that was a decent pickup as well. Okay. Now this is one of my better pickups um, of the day. A really nice retro Walkman. I think I only paid two pounds fifty for it, um, and this I've seen sell for thirty or thirty-five pounds, which is pretty 
pretty good. Uh, it's a nice rare color. I think this comes in uh, in black as well, but it's got a nice blue color. I've got to test it out, make sure it works, obviously, because I haven't had a chance to do that yet. But good pickup, vintage Walkmans are always worth it. <clears throat> um, this is something that's um, always, which isn't a bad pickup either. I got a box of these little Pokemon. Tomy Pokemon figures, and I paid £1.60 for the whole box. Um, it was meant to be £1.50, but I had £1.60, and I was like, yes, you know, fine, take it. Um, having had a very quick look, I've seen this one on its own go for about a tenner, because it's like the original Char Charizard or Charmander, I'm not sure which one it is, I think it's Charizard. But yeah, I, that one alone I've seen sell for about a tenner. Um, I've got a few in here, the usuals, the, you know, Charmander... Uh, Jigglypuff and uh, I don't know Muse in here. Um, I don't know all their names, unfortunately. Um, but still, there's quite a few in here, um, and it will probably be worth my while to go through them. And there'll be a nice, easy few listings uh, and um, easy to post as well. So, good little job lot there for one pound sixty pence. Now, the best thing that I picked up from the second boot fair and possibly like for the day um, is going to be an electronic item but this is really cool it's a Panasonic uh, DMR EX77 and this is a Freeview um, DVD recorder with a hard drive so really cool um, these sell for about 80 I think and um I paid eight pounds for that, and it comes complete with the um, instruction booklet and remote control there, instruction booklet there, everything there, and that's that goes for about eighty pounds, um, which is really cool. Um, and I'm, I've got to say that that's probably one of my best finds for the day. So I paid eight pounds. Lady wanted ten, I offered eight, and and she accepted. So that was really good. And that was the second boot fair done. So you can see that, that you know, two boot fairs, it, is, it does take quite a bit of work, especially when you're driving quite long distances um, and then having to trudge through these massive fields um, and, you know, struggling to find stuff. It's not always, you know, a, a plethora of items available. Um, it takes effort to, to pick these up. So i um, pretty pleased with that, though. Um, it's just a smaller haul than I would have, expected for for this time of year especially when the weather's being nice all right i'm going to move on to the final boot fair um hello um taos how are you i'm zahir how are you um and um okay, okay final item final boot fair i'm going to show you what i picked up from there um <laughs> first item i picked up was this brand new with tags you can see the tag there McLaren baseball cap so that's that I pay two pounds for that should be an easy I'd say 20 pound sell really good condition it's mint condition it's new it's actually brand new um, the bag itself is actually yes yeah, it's, it's in it's it's like a sealed bag anyway so that's pretty good so I, I, that was from the third boot fit that was my first pickup so that's pretty nice okay I don't know why I picked this up. I only paid 20 pence for it. It's not worth more than about four pounds. Um, but if you have a set of them, they can be worth more. And uh, this is um, the one of the Come On plush toys, um, which was released for the Voxel Corsa. So it's like a Voxel thing. I thought it would be worth a bit more. If I'd known it was only worth about four quid, I wouldn't have bothered with just the one. But I did only pay 20p for it. So for 20p, um, it's it's you know it's not the worst purchase in the world, but it's long way away from from a good purchase. Okay, um, Sony dictation machine, nice and compact item. Sony micro cassette voice recorder. I think I paid two pounds for this, um, or I think and no, actually I paid three pounds for this. So I have to pay up a bit more. Um, these go for about twenty. Uh, I should get twenty plus post. Again, nice simple item, fast sell, easy to photograph, so perfect kind of item for me. Now, this is something I wish um, 
I'm glad I picked it up anyway because it's kind of prompted me to research it a bit more. But this is an Olympus um, film camera and it's an Olympus Mu film camera. However, it's the original Mu camera, so it's only worth around £20 um, plus shipping. I paid £2 for it, so it's in good working order though. I mean, the battery's dead on it, but I, I, it did show up like the bar and I'm sure it'll work. It looks well kept, so I'm pretty sure that'll work. Assuming it works, I'll get about £20 for it. Had it been the, the, the Mu 2, it would have been worth a lot more around the £40 to £50 mark. And obviously the, the, the later models are worth even more. So worth um, keeping an eye out on those also. All right. Boxed, but no inserts, PS2 Slim. Um, I paid £10 for that. The, the controller is in mint condition. It also came with uh, the microphones and the attachments for, the, for those games, um, complete with the mains adapter, etc. Um, and also, I got these two games thrown in with it as well, uh, Hit and Run and Sonic Heroes. So for £10 for a PS2 Slim, um, the Slims are definitely worth picking up because they are quite popular um, and I'm quite happy to, to, to pick them up. So I paid a tenner for it. I'll, I'm, I'm trying to not pick up as many consoles just because they're bulky and a tenner at a boot fair on one item is a lot when you can pick up smaller items which are of, of good value as well. It's not, I, it's, I mean, obviously you can't turn away decent profit if you, you know, if you pick something up for tenner and you can sell it for like 30, 40 it's worth doing, but um, and on, on Amazon FBA it'll be worth a bit more, but I'm probably going to just be sticking it on eBay. Um, and the, the hit and run game alone, um, if you bundle that with like uh, the other one, the other Simpsons game, I can't remember what it's called now, uh, Road Rage is it? Simpsons Road Rage. You can normally get decent money um, on its own, maybe about a fiver or something. So, you know, not great, but it will do. Um, but the PS2 Slim for a tenner overall with those two games and the mic with the adapter things. I'm happy with that. Um, now, just as I was about to leave and I was like, eh, that wasn't amazing, I just decided to just rummage through this box. I don't know what made me pick this box, um, but I found in the box one of these. And I was happy enough just to see the case because I'm like, normally these sell for like 50p um, and, you know, it, it, it's, it's pretty easy sale but it did actually have the Game Boy in it. And I would have expected this to be on the seller's table, you know, on display, but it was literally hidden. No one saw it. Um, this is quite late into the boot fair, so it just does prove that it shows it can be worth while you rummaging through the boxes if you get a chance. And it's a really good condition Game Boy Advance. You can see it's blue color, really nice condition. The screen's great. It's actually got some battery in it. And it came with a Lion King game which isn't amazing, um, but it's pretty cool. Um, and for two pounds, I mean, that alone I can get like a tenner for, um, and then that I can sell on its own. So really happy uh, to pick that up for two quid. And then also I picked up from the same box of stuff, these um, little cube things, paid two quid for those, which probably isn't the best, but I was pretty hyped from the Game Boy. Um, that, and that was my pickups really. Um, if you've got any questions, um, Elion asks, do you sell electricals as spares when they're faulty or bin them? It depends, really. Um, I think you can always sell as spares. It, it, I mean, as long as it's worth your while in terms of how much money you can get for an item when it's faulty um, and with the shipping. But yeah, you can definitely sell things. You know, I, I've sold things, I, I've sold faulty electricals um, quite a few times, especially CD players. Um, I even sold a faulty CD player to uh, sent it to Russia. Customer was happy to pay for shipping to Russia. So even though it doesn't work, it, when I pl put the batteries in, it was just dead. I tried cleaning the contacts, it was just dead. Um, still, I sold it to someone in Russia. Also, I've had a case where I had a really nice uh, Rotel Hi-Fi separate CD player where the CD mechanism was broken. So literally, the only way to get CDs in and out was just to pull at the tray in and out. So it's just broken. However, it did play CDs once the CD was pushed in, but the actual CD transport mechanism was broken. Um, but that didn't stop um, people from from wanting it and I sold it for £60 and again it, I think that went abroad as well so bear that in mind yeah definitely it is worth 
while selling faulty items because people know how to fix things. Uh, people might need they might need spares for for what they already have. So most definitely, um, I wouldn't bin it straight away. I'd I'd make sure that you know I'd, I'd make sure to see whether there's anything worthwhile actually. Um, you know, salvaging if you buy something that doesn't work. Um, it's often the case that even if something doesn't work, you can still make profit on it, considering how much you would have likely paid for it when you source it. So that's that. Um, anyway, guys, I like I said, I'm pretty tired. I just wanted to share that haul with, with you. Nothing spectacular, unfortunately, and that's from three boot fairs. Normally, when you do three boot fairs, you can you can really get a lot of items. Um, didn't get nearly as much as I would have liked, and it doesn't look like a lot. But the good news is a lot of it is pretty profitable, um, and especially, obviously, the the DVD recorder thing, the PlayStation, Game Boy, the Walkmans, those things are pretty decent value items, so I should do okay with those. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, Dan, actually, guys, um, uh, Dan's got a question. He says, hi, Zahir, I know you do well with VHS. Have you had any luck selling the tapes themselves? Um you can sell the VHS tapes. Um, I recently sold a uh, a Pickwick Videos Peter Pan VHS for about £13, but VHS tapes in general are worthless. Um, if you maybe get like a job lot of Disney ones, you could probably bundle them together and you still won't get a great amount of money. Um, in the main, they're not worth a lot of money. There are the odd exceptions, such as the the VHSs that were released before um, the 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 current classification system. Um, certain horror movies and things like that can command a lot of money, but in the main, they're not worth that much money at all. So it's not something I pick up. Um, or and um, it might be worth just doing a bit of research, seeing if there's any high value VHSs that sell. Um, but uh, it's not something I, I normally dabble with, Dan. So I hope that answered that for you. Um, I don't see any other questions, so what I'm going to do is say thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate the 14, 15 of you that have popped in to say um, to, to watch this live stream. I, I am knackered. I'm going to go for a nap now. Um, I hope you enjoyed the haul video. Like I said, not the biggest haul, considering it was so many boot fairs, but anyway... Uh, it's the best I managed, and I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.